Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. So we have more leaks to talk about. We have the Diablo leaks. And so you probably heard about this art book that Blizzard is going to release in... Well, they're going to make it purchasable three days after BlizzCon. Or two days. It's the 3rd November. And some leaks came out from a German magazine. They said that this... Art book is about Diablo 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it was like, oopsie. Is that. I think the press was like, oops, are we writing about a game we're not about allowed to talk about? Oopsie. And then. And then, um, wow, hit. They got a copy of the this art book in PDF. But. It was missing 127 pages. That's weird. Why is there missing pages? It's like Blizzard. Did you really think giving that PDF file to Wow is Wowhead? And they were like, "Where's the 127 pages? That, that's gone. I think it was 127. You no, know. there was a, some pages gone. And they were like, "Why are these pages gone? You're saying you sell the book with these pages, and we only got these pages. So why are you not giving us the full pages? And of course, Blizzard will probably not. They probably hold, they probably have told. I mean, I think Wowhead play they. Some t some kind of work together with WoW, I think. Uh, so they probably already know it's about what with Diablo 4, but don't tell anyone. Um, but I got in my hands one of those pages that is not in the copy that WoW I got. And it's actually from WoWhead. So, not so, sorry, it's from Weak Aura. Again, another league from Weak Aura. The league we got is one of the PDF pages that will be in the book. And it's an article about this demon called Lilith. I think probably, maybe, she'll be, we'll see more about her in Diablo 4, maybe. I mean, no one knows. But if we zoom in a bit on the text and actually read it, we can see here. Banished for eons yet integral to the history of the internal conflict. The daughter of hatred was one of the fabled renegades who created the human world of sanctuary. And yet, despite her long absence, as she languished, languishes in, in the abyss, she shall return. The mother of Sanctuary will come back to her children, and it shall be a great and terrible day for them all. Lilith has appeared only briefing in Diablo games during Diablo 2 Pandemonium event. Through her presence has been felt at many points of the story. Lilith's debut in Diablo 4 is remaining of her form from what from what is far different from her previous appearance. See page 236. Her new design reprints a great example of plussing, according to art director John Muller, which is collaborative process during which one artist takes another concept, affirms what he or she likes about it, and tries to add a cool new ID of her of his or her own. Victor Victor Lee did the internal design for Lilith. Then Ron did his own iteration of things and tried different things, says Muller. We've always really liked that about any kind of IP, letting really talented artists get a whole of things and then letting them do their versions of it. We're doing that with a lot of characters in the new game. So I think we can pretty much state <laughs> that this is going to be Diablo 4. It's a really cool uh, link, uh, sorry, leak. And I mean, we now got information about someone called Lilith. And she's actually, you know, she's actually already in, in the law itself. Um, isn't she? No, she's not. She's not. Um, uh, what is it called? Do you remember the boss we met in? Um, you know, the first boss we meet, the last boss we meet in, uh, in Act One. Isn't that? That you know the lady, what was she called? Ah, yeah, Andariel. 
Yeah, I, I was thinking about in Daryl. That was the first boss in uh, Diablo 2. But this is Lil Lilith. Basically here on um, DiabloFandom.com Lilith is her true name, an evil, an evil older an evil older than the world. She's the mother of the side, the mistress of betrayal. You are indeed strong for having survived against her, my son. Lucian to Aldician. Lilith is the daughter of Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, the sister of Lucian, and known to all sanctuary as the Queen of the Succubi. Once the lover of the Archangel Inarius, once the lover of the Archangel Inarius, oh, so she was actually lover with an Archangel. That's pretty cool. Her union with him led to the creation of the first Nephilim. The first Nephilim. Nephilims are humanity, humanity's phobias, the offspring of angels and demons. The existence would forever alter the balance of... Okay, so basically the heroes you can play, those are Nephilims. And so that means Inarius, the Archangel Inarius and this Lilith basically made kids and created all the Nephilims. I'm not sure if they actually made kids, you know, like the story about the bee and the flower, but I think more is like they created them. Um, so basically she's, she's together with the art angels and they have kind of started the world. Okay. If she's going to be a boss, that's going to be very interesting. You actually meet her in uh, Diablo 2. Lilith's in-game mo model is reused <coughs> is a reuse of Andariel's colored gray and black. Lilith has a deadly poised attack and she will ca cast when you get up close. That's why I was thinking about Andariel. Cool. Really cool. Wow. I'm like, okay. I'm so hyped about this game. I mean, we're probably getting a new World of Warcraft, new Overwatch, new Starcraft maybe, but a new Diablo is the thing that makes me most hyped. I'm all about Diablo, boy. I know I'm, I'm a World of Warcraft guy and all my videos is about World of Warcraft, but that's because Diablo 3 sucks. <laughs> Sorry, it sucks. I, I hate Diablo 3. It's like, no, no. Everything about Diablo 3, I just hate it. We, we can have that discussion in another video, but I mean, okay, sorry, Diablo 3 was fine, it was fun to complete, and it had some great elements, but as a game you can play after you've finished it, no. So I will give it 10 out of 10 points, 100% for the game itself, Diablo 3. It was really cool and fun, but when you finish the game and you're like, what should I do now? That sucks. But that's just it. But the game itself, with the campaign and all that, 10 out of 10, you did good job, Blizzard. But after that, the, what do you call end game? I hope the Diablo 4 will be better. So, pretty much confirmed at Diablo 4. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Leave down a comment and tell me what do you think about all this Diablo 4 nonsense. Um, I'm so hyped. It's going to be so good. I mean, really, really, really good. So again, thanks for watching everyone and leave down a comment and let me know what you think about all this. Peace out and see you in another episode.